Hi guys, this is Abhi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. You may have seen MCCB in your daily life. In this episode, we are looking into MCCB in detail. The topics of in this videos are what is MCCB, purpose of MCCB, working of MCCB, selection of MCCB. In selection, we are discussing about three topics. One is current rating calculation, the one is selection of MCCB types. Next one is selection of short circuit and braking capacity of MCCB. The next topic is difference between MCCB and MCB. Then shunt tripping of MCCB, status monitoring of MCCB. Last one, how to adjust a setting in MCCB. What is MCCB? The full form is Malted Case Circuit Breaker. It prevents a circuit from excessive current or over current. It's used for the protection against short circuiting and overload. It is used for Overload protection as well as short circuit protection. What is the purpose of MCCB? The first one is overload or overcurrent protection. Second one short circuit protection. Third one electrical switch for emergency disconnection. It can be used as a switch for disconnection. If you want to disconnect a specific part in a circuit, you just turn off that MCCB in that circuit. So it will act as a switch for disconnection. If you look at an MCB structure, we can see fixed contact. Then moving contact through the fixed and moving contacts electricity flows while tripping the moving contact will fall apart it will interrupt the electricity next one is operating mechanism it's a knob operating knob on and off switch like that below this there is a trip units trip units consist of bimetallic strip for overload tripping and a magnetic trip unit like solenoid for the short circuit tripping next one is arc chute Arc chute is used to extinguish or quench the arc produced due to the sudden disconnection of fixed and moving contact. So you can see arc chute is divided into small small chambers. So this arc is forced through these chambers and it will lose its power and it will be extinguished. Last one is molded frame. Molded frame is the outer casing in which all these components sits. If you look at the working of MCCB, we can see MCCB has two type of tripping mechanisms. One is overload tripping, other one is short circuit tripping. You can see the current is flowing from terminals to the fixed contact through the moving contact and again to the trip units it's going to the bimetallic strip as well as the magnetic unit to the terminal on outer side. So this is the current flow. If the short circuit happens, the current will be increased in a huge amount or there is a sudden surge of the current. Magnetic trip unit is used to trip the MCCB. Bimetallic strip is used for the overload tripping. Bimetallic strip is a combination of two metals. It is used to convert temperature changes into mechanical displacement. That is, while heating, bimetallic strip bends. If the temperature become normal, bimetallic strip come to same position. So, you can see, due to the heating and bending of bimetallic strip, it is activating the triggering mechanism and MCCB will be tripped. For the short circuit tripping, we are using a solenoid type arrangement. We have a coil. Inside the coil, there is a piston. If the current passes through the coils, then due to the electromagnetic force, the piston will be come to the center. This will trigger the contacts and the circuit breaker will be tripped. In normal current also, there is a magnetic field and the chances of tripping the circuit breaker. But this spring is there, the tension of the spring holding it back. If the current exceeds certain levels, then the magnetic force will be more than the tension of the spring. Then the piston will come down or piston will trip the mechanism. How to select an MCCB for your project? MCCB selection has three parts. First one is calculation of current rating of MCCB. Second one is selection of MCCB type. Third one is calculate and select short circuit braking capacity. Let's look into it in detail. This is our scenario. Select the MCCB for factory incomer with a connected load of 170 kilowatt. So you have to select an incomer for a factory with a connected load of 170 kilowatt. So we will go into step by step. What is the first step? The first step is calculation of rated current. For the rated current calculation purpose, I have prepared an excel sheet for you. So you can download it from the description section. We know the equation for three phase power is P equal to root 3 into V into I into cos 5. Cos 5 is the power factor. V is the standard three phase voltage that is 415 volt. Then I, I we have to find. The value of cos 5, the power factor is 0 0.8. So in calculation purpose, we will take 0 0.8 as a power factor. So what you have to do? Just you have to enter the load in the excel sheet. So you will get the current. Current you got as 295.98.
that is 296 ampere and the load current with the load of 170 kilowatt is 296 ampere the formula for mccb rating is load current plus 20 percentage of the load current as safety factor if you are substituting these values load current is 296 ampere then mccb rating will be 296 into 1.2 we are adding 20 percentage as safety factor the value will be 355.2 in the next step we have to look at the available mccb sizes in the market these are the commonly available mccb rating in the market so it's available from 16 ampere to 2500 ampere in normal scenarios in our normal projects we won't use mccb above 800 ampere so above 800 ampere we will prefer acb only but it is available up to 2500 ampere for some special projects our load current is approximately 356 ampere so you can see 315 ampere above that 400 ampere is available in the market 315 ampere is not applicable so we are selecting 400 ampere because a little higher rating so what we are doing we are selecting 400 ampere as our breaker and we are going to look at the catalog of that breaker so if you look at the catalog you can see this 400 ampere breaker available in adjustable current setting there are nine settings available with 400 ampere breaker you can see it can be set from 160 ampere to 400 ampere 160 180 200 etc so if you are inspecting this table you can see 360 ampere so the breaker can be set in 360 ampere our load current is 355.2 which is very near to the value so we are selecting 400 ampere three phase adjustable mccb for this purpose and we are adjusting this value into 360 ampere the next one is selection of types of mccb which type mccb is like mcbs mccb is also available in five types type b which trips between 3 to 5 times of full load current then tripping time can be adjusted from 0.04 to 13 seconds then type c which is trip between 5 to 10 times of full load current tripping time falls within the range of 0.04 to 5 seconds then type d mccb which trips between 10 to 20 times of full load current the tripping time ranges from 0.04 to 3 seconds type z mccb trips between 2 to 3 times of full load current they have the shortest tripping time the mccb with the shortest tripping time is z type the highest tripping time is d type type k trips between 10 to 14 times of full load current the tripping time falls within 0.04 second to 5 seconds so these five types mccb is available in the market from type b to type k where it is used what is the application of these types the type b mccb is used in resistive or domestic applications it can current only low surge current or low short circuit currents then type c mccb is more into commercial purpose it used in application involved relatively modest inductive loads such as small motors transformers and electromagnets typically used in industrial settings it more into commercial or industrial segment it it can carry some amount of higher surges then type d mccb it has the most surge tolerance or it can carry more short circuit current so it's used for in the application of relatively high inductive load like large electrical motors it is more into industrial purpose then type z mccb it used to protect the delicate semiconductor equipments it has the lowest surge tolerance it will trip between 2 to 3 times of full load current it is used for the protection of delicate equipments then type k type k used for the protection of inductive loads such as motors if we go back to our scenario our scenario is we need a factory in gumbar we are installing the breaker in a factory what is the suitable type for the factory type d so we are selecting 400 ampere three phase adjustable mccb type d so the next parameter we need to find is short circuit breaking capacity what is short circuit breaking capacity it's a maximum current that a circuit breaker can interrupt without causing a failure or explosion that is there is a maximum current a circuit breaker can tolerate above that current what happen the breaker will be damaged burned or it may cause fire hazards so, in the market it is available in nine ranges normally 16 kilo ampere 25 kilo ampere 36 kilo ampere etc up to 200 kilo ampere so in order to select the short circuit breaking capacity you need to find the short circuit current at that point 
that short circuit current calibration into a complex procedure that we will deal in the coming videos. Just find the short circuit current at that specific point and ensure the breaker has more capacity than the short circuit current. Example, if the short circuit current at the specific point is 20 kA, then we have to select 25 kA breaker. If it is 32 kA, then we have to select 36 kA breaker, like that. Since this is a factory, I am assuming our short circuit current is 33 kA. So I am selecting our breaker short circuit breaking capacity as 36 kA. So what is our final selection? Our final selection is 400 Ampere, 3 phase MCCB with adjustable trip setting type D with a short circuit breaking capacity of 36 kA. What is the difference between MCB and MCCB? MCB tripping circuit is fixed and MCCB the tripping circuit is movable. Due to this movable tripping circuit, we can adjust the settings in MCCB. Second one, MCB is used for low current circuit while MCCB used for heavy current circuit. Third one, MCB has less than 100 amps while MCCBs have as high as 2500 amps. MCB is up to 100 ampere, very common in the market. We can buy it from the market. But MCCB is available from low current rider from 16 ampere to 2500 ampere. So MCCB is available in any range. But MCB is available up to 100 amps. In MCBs, remote on off is not possible or it is not inbuilt. While MCCBs it is possible using a shunt wire. That means if the panel is in one location and if you want to operate the panel from other location, you can do it in MCCB using a shunt wire and a emergency push button switch. So you can connect that wire and put the switch in a location where you want to operate. The remote on off is possible in MCCB. We will detail look into shunt tripping later in this video. In MCBs, the shunt tripping is not possible or it is not inbuilt. Fifth one is MCB used for low energy requirement like domestic purpose. Where MCCB used for high energy requirement like industry's purpose. MCCB is more into commercial and industrial application. MCB is normally used in residential applications or low current applications such as lighting. As we said earlier, shunt tripping or remote tripping is possible in MCCB. MCCB can be operated from remote areas. Let's look at the wiring for that. Take an MCCB and connect three phases R, Y, B and neutral N. So we are connecting three phases and neutral to MCCB. Take an emergency push button switch. Connect a phase and that wire connected to the shunt terminal of MCCB. Connect neutral also. So this is the basic wiring. This is a simple wiring for this. Just turn on the MCCB in this way. You can turn on the MCCB. So the circuit will be in on conditions. So if you want to emergency turn off the circuit then just push the emergency push button. So what will happen? MCB will come to off position or MCB will be tripped. This is called shunt tripping of MCCB or remote tripping of MCCB. Let's look at an application of shunt tripping. You can see this is a factory. So a lot of various machines are there. If you want to turn off a specific machine from a remote location, then what do you have to do? Install an MCCB in the panel. Install an emergency stop button or emergency push button in an area where you want to operate and connect the shunt wire to the MCCB. So in this way, you can turn off the MCCB or you can turn off the machine using this emergency push button. This is a simple example of shunt tripping. If you want to monitor the status of MCCB, what do you have to do? For example, if your panel is in a remote location and you want to monitor the status from your office, what do you have to do? For this purpose, auxiliary contact blocks are used. Some MCBs is coming as inbuilt, some MCB is comes as an additional fittings. So we have to open it and insert the auxiliary contact block in the MCCB. You can take two lamps, green and red, then connect the neutral to the lamps and loop the lamps also. Then connect a single phase, I am taking a red phase, to the common terminal of auxiliary contact block. Then NO of the auxiliary contact block connect to the green light, then NC connect to the red light. NO is normally open contact, NC is normally closed contact. Normal condition through the NO terminal, the green light will be lit. If you push the emergency push button, then the breaker will be tripped. Then this contact became NC, normally closed contact. Then red light will be lit. These auxiliary contacts are used for the status monitoring of MCCB. We know the main advantage of MCCB is we can adjust the settings in MCCB. Basically, we need to know six type of adjustable settings with respect to MCCB. 
it is continuous amp short time pickup instantaneous pickup ground fault pickup short time delay and long time delay this settings is like a adjustable switch or selector switch you can insert a star screw driver and rotate it to the different different levels let's look into details the first one is continuous amps there is a current the circuit breaker can carry without tripping it's expressed in percentage from 20 percentage to 100 percentage like if you are selecting 100 ampere breaker then from 20 ampere to 100 ampere it can vary so if you rotate the knob you can select the continuous amps or percentage of rated current second one is long term delay what is long term delay it's a circuit breaker waiting time before tricking for temporary in rush current if you look at the picture you can see long time delay in seconds at six times of continuous amps that means our breaker capacity is 100 amps then our continuous amps which is in 50 percentage then what will be our continuous amps it will be 50 ampere so six times of 50 ampere what is six times of 50 ampere this is 300 ampere so up to 300 ampere you can adjust the setting from 2.2 to 27 second up to 300 ampere using this switch you can adjust the delay or tripping time between 2.2 second to 27 second the third one is short time pickup short time pickup is the amount of current that the breaker will carry for short time period what is that meaning we know our breaker capacity 100 amps and our continuous amp switch is in 50 percentage then our continuous amps will be 50 ampere using this short time pickup you can vary the amount of current that the breaker will carry without tripping like if your knob is in 5 then our continuous ampere is 50 what that mean 5 into 50 250 ampere it can carry in a short time period if the knob is in 10 our continuous amp in 50 what does it mean up to 500 ampere it can carry for a short time period what is the time period that time period determines by the short time delay switch short time delay controls the time involved in postponing short time pickup trip that means up to 500 ampere it can carry for how much time that the short time delay switch will determine so you can rotate the switch from 0 0.05 second to 0.28 second that means the breaker can carry short time pickup current that is 500 ampere up to 0 0.5 to 0.28 second next one is instantaneous pickup instantaneous pickup is used to trip the circuit breaker with no intentional delay at any current between 2 to 40 times of breakers continuous ampere settings instantaneous pickup will determine above what current the breaker should trip without any delay at suddenly or instantaneously for example in our case our continuous amps is 50 ampere then i am selecting instantaneous pickup switch into 220 so what it means 20 into 50 above 1000 ampere the breaker will trip instantaneously without any time delay so next one is ground fault pickup the ground fault pickup means the amount of fault current that will cause the breaker to interrupt the circuit that means the knob is available from 20 percentage to 70 percentage that means if the knob is in 20 percentage in that scenario if our ground fault is more than 20 percentage of the in rated current then the breaker will trip instantaneously these are the basic settings you need to know while referring a circuit breaker or MCCB. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about MCCB. See you in the next video. Bye.